Super Social with Todd. Hey, Internet. I'm Todd, and welcome to my show where we talk about the stuff people are talking about. First order of business today, Leonard Nimoy. He passed away at the age of 83. Um, he's a wonderful, wonderful human being, and it's hard to put into words how terrific he was. I gave it my best shot. I said his work gave hope and a sense of wonder to generations. May it continue to live long and prosper. R.A.P. Leonard Nimoy. William Shatner, he just tweeted out, I loved him like a brother. We will all miss his humor, his talent, and his capacity to love. And Zachary Quinto, who plays Spock in this latest generation of Star Trek films, says, My heart is broken. I love you profoundly, my dear friend, and I'll miss you every day. May flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. And NASA, they said, R.I.P. Leonard Nimoy. So many of us at NASA were inspired by Star Trek. Boldly go. And in that photo you see of the original Star Trek cast from the television show, the space shuttle in the background was actually the test flight prototype that NASA named Enterprise. Um, I think that was a very fitting tribute from NASA that long ago. And Leonard Nimoy, just four days ago before he fell ill, left us with this. He says, a life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had, but not preserved, except in memory. Live long and prosper. Now here's a look at what's trending. Oh, hey. Hey. It's Chris Lee Kennedy beaming in to join us today. That felt so weird. That beam felt so weird. Hats it is, came out bo of bo Bones didn't. He never liked it. No. He always had to do Hats the shuttlecraft. So what's going on? Well, I don't know if you know about this, but I'm 12, maybe 13. And this morning, huge young adult news dropped. I know you're bigger than the young adult. I'm on the edge of my seat. I know you are. Tell me it's about so it. Exciting. What dropped? Okay, Fault in Our Stars, you know the movie. I'm sure you've seen it. You've I've seen the it. title. I saw, it, I saw it was on the... Okay, uh, we're just going to ignore him and I'm going to talk to the young adult peeps. Okay. Big Talk news. to the children. I am a child. This is big news. It's exciting news. Fault in Our Stars did $305 million, which is big. The screenwriters that adapted Fault in Our Stars' book to the film got together a second time for Paper Towns, which comes out this summer. I love it so much I can't remember the name of it. And they're coming together this morning. Just dropped. Just heard it on The Hollywood Reporter for a third movie, Looking for Alaska, which is my favorite book. And I'm so excited that I wanted to come across your show. Thank because you for that. Is this like the uh, John Green trilogy? Are the other books there's all connected? There's a lot of books. There's more that there's more than three. None of them are connected. They're all, all just different. Different. Stories. No characters over. Young, no, all young adults, and so they're all tragic. If I went to go see Looking for Alaska when it comes out, I wouldn't be mm -hmm. lost because no. Okay. No, it's not Could falling be. our stars. Can I show you? Can, I, can I show you what I'm excited about this morning that just dropped? Maybe. Black Widow character Weird poster. Guy excited Avengers. About what excited about a redhead in Weird. a tough Tron looking leather suit? Not impressed. You're not impressed. Look, not her impressed. new suit is glowing, and Samuel L. Jackson said she's the baddest woman on earth. That I agree with. Well, but, I don't agree with it all because I don't know if you know this, but when I'm not here, I'm a superhero. Don't tell anyone. It's between me and you. Okay. So I mean, what's your okay? Fine. So you're she can be the second. You. Me and, and you, you and the internet. Good job. Anyway, you're not sold on Black Widow. Eh, I mean, I love her. I love her in the franchise. I think she's awesome. I think she's badass. I just am not impressed. I don't think she looks like super tough. I, I don't know. I'm not she's impressed. She's the baddest woman on earth. But that's just like, I don't know. Like okay, a glamour whatever. shot. All right. All right. Do you know what I do on my show every week? What? The tweet of the week. Woohoo! It's a lot of fun because I read everybody's tweets. And you want to see this week's tweet of the week? I do. Jimmy LaPointe. He says, What's up, Jimmy? Stop trying to trick me out of retirement, Regal Crown Club. Find someone else to fight your battles. And he included a screenshot of his email where the Regal Crown Club says, Jimmy, evil will rise again. Those are fighting words. Jimmy, maybe this Regal gift card can get you out of retirement. Check your mentions on Twitter. Uh, we'll get it to you. Wait, if I, what do I have to do to get a Regal gift card? Wait, let me well, talk. How do I if, do this? Say if you were eligible. Uh, but you're hypothetically eligible. You would just tweet about the Regal Crown Club, and say something fun, silly. If I see it and like it, maybe you'd win a gift card. Dozer is so tweeting about Regal today. Do it. And then next thing, we've got an awesome giveaway. It was so awesome, we skipped by it. <laughs> My fingers were too excited. Um, Sean Penn, he's got a new movie coming out called The Gunman. The premiere is March 12th at Regal LA Live, and Open Road Films is giving us an awesome- Me and you? Not us, we oh. might get a go, because two you lucky people, one person, one lucky person and their really lucky friend are gonna win a trip to LA, two nights stay at LA Live, premiere is happening in downtown LA, at Regal LA Live, and we might be there to show up, we're gonna crash the premiere. Who doesn't so, wanna hang out with Sean Penn, his first action movie ever? 
Bad Boys was an action. Oh, no. No, this Colors. is his first Colors. action movie I ever. I call Colors an action ever. movie. Ember. Okay. Just anyway, saying. the giveaway, it launches Monday. Look for the announcement because it's coming up quick. You're going to have to get your sick days in order or your spring break plans are going to change because you have to come to LA and hang out with Chris Lee and I. Or I'll just go for you. Whatever works. And then last order of business, the debate, it's over. Team black and blue. It's Lucy white and so. gold. It's white and gold. It's white and gold. No, I, I don't care. Just saying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below with your favorite Leonard Nimoy memory. Let's honor him this weekend and into next week with uh, your favorite memories of Leonard. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.